Here are probably some things that you don't want to do when you're homeless and living out of your car. And if you do these things instead, people probably won't even notice that you're homeless or living out of your car. And they'll actually probably start treating you like an actual human being, you know, with respect. And actually would probably even help you along your path. Number one, you don't want to hang around the wrong people. It's great to help people and have friends, you know, but the wrong people could take advantage of you. And sometimes you get a little caught up in side quests that have nothing to do with you. Or worse, they'll hurt you or steal from you. You know what I'm saying? Everyone in certain doses. Not everyone is worthy of your time anyway. Number two, don't be tense and negative. Exercise, stretch out your body from like uncomfortable sleeping positions. Being homeless, you sleep on some pretty raw things. Or if you're in a car and don't have like a nice padding, you know, your body can get really tense and cramped up. Even just a quick morning jog or some simple stretches, you know, or a simple yoga routine, you know, because your body needs to move. You don't need a house to stay badass, man. Number three, don't be sad and in your head because that really gets the best of us, man. Like whether we're in a house or not, meditate and stay calm because this is going to keep your energy high, which will also add to the way that you carry yourself and how you carry yourself will change how people perceive you and thus treat you. And remember, there are a lot more sunny days than there are rainy days, especially here in California. So just take a breath, relax. Number four, don't do drugs. Light an incense instead, or some sage or something, or some Palo Santo, and practice meditation. Start creating art again, if you haven't, if you're not doing it already, or start a business, or grow a YouTube channel. The key is you wanna keep your mind focused. You wanna keep it focused on a path or a goal. Remember, you are on a mission, and you might have something people need to see, you know? And if you need to take something, Take some supplements, you know, like oregano oil or L-theanine or vitamin C or something, or some fish oil to help the brain. Don't get the brain and the body feeling good. That's what's gonna make you feel good. And five, don't be dirty. <laughs> Do not be dirty, even if you can't shower. Just still try to dress nice and keep clean and Brush your teeth. And trust me, this will add to your overall well-being. That will add to how you carry yourself. It's a subconscious game, man. And six, don't be unhealthy, man. Eat as clean as you can. So instead of a soda, you would get either a coconut water or a kombucha. So instead of processed foods, you would get something like this cheap bag of salad, which I think is like, you'll buy two or more, you get it for two for six. Three bucks average, you know what I mean? You see two, super good. You can mix it with some of the vegan chili that they have here, put that in the bag, or make your own PB&Js, your own healthy version of PB&Js. You don't have to get those crustable and crustable shits. And seven, don't be broke, man. Use your art, your skills, your knowledge, or your phone to make money. You don't have to suffer. You can get creative instead. And just know that know that it's okay if you don't want to work a normal nine to five job. Maybe your purpose is much more higher than that. Just figure it out and do it. And number eight, don't be oblivious. This is kind of an important one. You have to follow the flow because there is a flow. Follow the flow, pay attention because Synchronicities, your intuitions will guide you where you need to be. And if you're oblivious, then you can't see shit. Then you, you'll miss an opportunity. The intuitions should lead you to your next mission or the next person that you need to talk to or the next task that you need to do or someone you need to run into. You'll begin to see dots connect. Sometimes it may not just be for you. It could be for somebody else. Like if somebody hands you a jacket and you're like, I don't really need a jacket, but they're handing it to you. That might be your cue to take it. You want to receive it because what if you end up running into somebody who's really cold and they needed that jacket? You have to pay attention. Don't be oblivious. If it's not for you, it could be for somebody else. Helping others along their path too. Remember, we're all connected. I'm over here walking aimlessly in a parking lot. And number nine, don't ignore family. 
Be sure to stay in contact every once in a while, even just a text or two. Let them know you're doing okay and check to see how they're doing. Love them anyway despite their judgment. And 10, if you have kids, being free with the ability to go anywhere, to be anywhere almost any time, why not live close to your kids? Your kids may need you. Be there for them. Let them know you're there. And you can share your journey with them. Because I promise you, your life is probably a lot more interesting than most of these people around here. You know what, I should have stayed seated. And they will love you and appreciate you for it. And in the long run, will be inspired by you. Even if that's just them seeing you being happy in your own being with nothing to your name and in tune with who you are, they'll see it. And the fact that you're there in their town as a helping hand, being there for them, they will love you for that. It'll mean everything to them, trust me. And one more thing. Don't ever lose hope. That is all, thank you. Later. And number eight. Oh look, I just found this on the ground. Score.